popping, was 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 Thank y'all so much for just supporting me. I want to say I love you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank y'all. I've been getting so much good feedback. It's ridiculous. Like, it almost feels crazy, like, to me, like, how how good stuff has been going. And I'm just so grateful for it. And I thank you so much. I love you so much. Like, from the bottom of my heart, y'all. I love y'all so much. Just thank you. Thank you for being making me feel like you care because I care about y'all so much and thank you for making me feel like y'all care about me that's what this is a very let me get closer up on this thing for y'all this is a very important moment right now it's a very genuine moment that's why it's important because I, I'm in a, I'm, I decided to do like a think tank video, you know what I mean, right? So like, I'm, you know, trying to focus and like come up with some cool ideas. I always feel like I do better when I'm around other creative people. When we're all vibing and like the vibes are good and everybody's contributing something that they have unique about them, their mind, their thoughts, ideas to whatever it is. And like, then it's a beautiful thing. Everybody's kind of rolling, you know, with their own thing. But it's like, everybody's a different hamster on the wheel kind of thing that powers. You ever seen like in the movies, the big boxes that where there's a whole bunch of hamsters <laughs> that like power the wheel powered them something by by spinning the wheel <laughs> it's like we're all you know i mean a whole bunch of those hamsters <laughs> damn hamsters just <laughs> running and running and running keep going and powering the whole the entire thing you know everybody doing their own thing but collectively powering the shit you know and that's powerful as fuck and i want to say thank you all that's what's popping popping Y'all so much. Thank y'all so much. Listen. Oh, oh, this is gonna be good. So y'all know I believe in y'all, right? Y'all know I believe in y'all so much, right? Like all I be trying to do is get y'all believe in yourselves. And if I can do that in any way, and you know, sometimes I feel like I can. <laughs> you know, not to, that's not braggadocious. I'm just going off of what people tell me individually. And, like, that's a powerful thing for me. So powerful. My purpose here is to help people. And the vision for that keeps getting clearer and clearer and clearer. And I'm just so grateful that I got you by my side on this. And I was about to say, I really just believe in you so much. And so I need to help you bring your own visions to light. You know, not just you helping me bring mine. So this is what we gonna do. I'm gonna talk to y'all, right? Give me a second. I'm gonna refresh myself a little bit. Just one sec. Powerful thing in this universe is to talk about the thing you want to see happen as if it's already happening. One, two, it's very powerful when two or more people are of the same mind about us, a goal. And so if I'm here to affirm your goal and you're here to affirm my goals, then we push each other and we keep on spinning in that big giant love hamster wheel that I was just talking about, you feel me? 
<laughs> the love never stops and it just keeps going throughout the whole universe and it fuels everything and we drown out all the hate you know what I mean we refill that with this light <laughs> with this love so exchange of energies I'm gonna I want you in the comments this is what I'm saying I want you in the comments to talk to me about, you know, what it is that your dreams, your goals, ideas are. It doesn't even matter what they are, you know what I mean? It could be that your goal is that you want to shoot 10 baskets in a row. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, I'm totally behind. I I just want you to talk about it because that's going to help bring it to life, to fruition faster. If we talk about it. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that one came out of nowhere. <laughs> but um for real, y'all, it's it's a it's a very big and powerful thing to talk about the things you want to see come to life, like to happen, to fruit in your life. And so I'm here to be that springboard for you, baby. I'm here to let's do it. Talk to me about it. Let's talk. And beyond that, I want to. I'm going to go live here um, on Sunday, and I want for y'all watching to be on the live with me. And I'm talking live via direct about this very topic, about about you know just us keeping each other going and this positivity and not letting the, the negativities of the outside world drown in to our castle, to our fortress. You know what I mean? We can fill our fortress with whatever we choose, whatever we want. And, and I choose to have mine be filled with love. And that's all I'm giving. So <laughs> I hope you feel it. And I hope it does good things for your day. And um, even if, you know, if, if it goes beyond that, I'm more than pleased. <laughs> and you know, if it does just affect the day, that's good too. But okay, let's talk. <laughs> so look I have a notebook where we are going to jot down new ideas as they come to us right now in real time some ideas it's me my spirit animal <laughs> <laughs> Some um, ideas are already written down in here. Some of my goals and dreams and like visions and I want to share some of them with y'all. <laughs> actually, now some people believe that you should just stay quiet when you have a vision, right? Not tell people about it because they'll hate on it. You know, try to dim your light and stop you before you even get started but other perspectives are that talking about it is what brings these things to life faster it, it puts more of that energy into the universe and fuels fuels your idea with more light, more love, more positivity, more good energy. And like it forces you to compact it into it more and more and more. And especially, especially if you have good voices around you. If your friends are speaking positivity to you and over your situations. Telling you like, yeah, that's good, y'all, you're doing good. Keep going, keep going hard, you know, I'm proud of you. Like, yo, how can I help, you know? That all of these kind of things, you're going to be going far. You're going to be going far. And if you're not hearing that, block it out. Block it out and put it in. Only what you want to hear. Only what you want to see. Only what you want to feel. Only who you want to be. Only all the love in the world and everything you offer to give it when it twirls. If it spins, just grin and let them know you're in here. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> oh, man. 
Sometimes I just be vibing, you know. I don't even, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, so. some of these pages see what I come up with what I see and I'm gonna share these ideas and dreams with you and you're gonna share yours with me and we're gonna get our energy out there however little or small or big or gigantic it is it doesn't matter I'm here for you I'm here to ride with you straight up you're here to ride with me <laughs> That's definitely what's up. That's definitely what's up. <laughs> Yo, listen. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. So I got here written down. Goals that I said for a while ago. And that's why I'm doing this, you know, like slightly different content now, because I felt like before I would be doing a whole bunch of role plays and I love to do them and I'm still going to do them because I love to do them. It's creative. It's fun. It's funny. I get to be me. You know what I mean? You know, but like also it's always like a scenario, you know what I mean? And it's like I'm performing and a lot of times I just be wanting to be myself, you know, and kick it with y'all and like. I know y'all appreciate that because y'all tell me. I just never really took heed until now. And now I'm, I'm doing some different things with the content. And like, I want it to be authentic as possible. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it like this. And I'm not editing it or anything. I'm just, we're going to think and roll with these ideas. So let's get going with that. Okay. The first thing I have written down here was to have three. Three WSOP bracelets. This was written, by the way, I'm gonna be honest, in 2020. So last year. <laughs> um, and I didn't do it fully. I didn't commit. And that's why I'm committing now. And I have committed, and that's why you're gonna be seeing a lot more of me on in all on all platforms and always. And that's a one hundred percent guarantee. But 3 WSOP bracelets. Y'all know what WSOP is? <laughs> I gotta tell you if you don't. WSOP stands for World Series of Poker. I play poker professionally and it is my dream to have at least three WSOP bracelets. And I will have at least three WSOP bracelets. If I'm in straight up, I already feel like I got them. Like, I feel like they're on my wrist right now. You know what I mean? One after the other. Lining. You know what I mean? Three WSOP bracelets. It's a guarantee. Like, I'll, prob I'll probably, you know what I mean, go beyond, like, 20. You know what I mean? Really, though. Like, some point, in, you know, like, but, like, I believe that for real, too. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> but... At least three, you know what I mean, on my bracelet, on my wrist, like just that adornment will happen. And, um, but that's what that means, WSOP World Series of Poker. So that means having won three championships. Now these are tournaments with sometimes, you know, 5,000, 10,000 people in them, you know what I mean, a lot of the time, but not always in either way. I'm gonna beat them all. I've gotten close, but. I want to beat them all and win that tournament and win these bracelets. You believe that with me? You second that with me? Am I going? Am I going all the way? Am I going strong? Can nothing stop me? Can nothing stop me? Can nothing stop me? Won't let it stop me. Won't let it rock me. I need the water. <laughs> Listen, y'all. 
Le moment, enfin. C'est du way. <laughs> Listen, y'all. That's a very important one for me. And um, just so y'all know, I take poker very seriously. It is what got me out of being homeless. I was homeless for a year. Um, it also is what, you know, got me through years in prison. I did seven years for y'all that don't know. From the time that I was 15 to the time that I was 22, yo. S stupid shit over a fight, too. Just dumb, stupid shit. Fight, fist fight, you know. And, and um, yeah. So, but anyway, that's beside the point. My only point in even bringing that up was that um, poker is what fed me while I was there, you know? I've always had just, it's been a passion for me since I was like 15. I used to always watch Poker After Dark. It was a series that come on at like 3 in the morning, 2 in the morning, something like that. Every night I stayed up to watch this show so I could study the pros. I was in love with it. And I, I took all those lessons that I gleaned just from watching them and played poker and fed myself in prison for years. Then I got out. Poker was how I paid for my first car. My journey's been different than a lot of other people's, y'all. <laughs> that's just legit. I said that's just legit. But I'm so full of love and joy and light. Like, that's never gone anywhere. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand how so many people have, like, gone. Well, that's not true. I don't say I don't understand. But, I mean, like, gosh. I mean, so many people have just gone and, like, they come out worse, you know? Like, and then... I mean, it just sucks, but, like, that's not everybody, and that wasn't me. My light didn't go nowhere. My light got stronger, <laughs> much stronger. I mean, I studied and all of that, but, like, anyway, I don't mean to get all deep on y'all or whatever. I don't even know if y'all are interested in hearing about that stuff, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, like, it was a um, very character-building time for me, and, like, it built my craft is what I'm saying. Like, now I play poker. You know what I mean? Professionally for a living. I've been doing that for years. And so, um, like, it helped me. You know, I harnessed my craft there. And that's how I'm in them bracelets. But back to this, though. I have at least one Yashua estate in every major city. Y'all need to tell me something right now. Y'all need to tell me something right now. I'm about to learn. I'm about to learn right now who the real follow, like who the real, like the people that's been here from the dirt, like <laughs> from the beginning, because I'm about to learn who y'all are. Because uh, I've often talked about the nonprofit organization I wanted to start called Not a Statistic. And Not a Statistic focuses on now helping house people who age out of foster care you ever heard of it they age out that means like they turn 18 and then they're on their own they kick them out they've been in an orphanage for however long you know what i mean and then all of a sudden they turn 18 they just out on their ass and you know if they don't have anyone to help then that's just they just got to figure out life stumble through that's another you know what i mean like i'm coming from a journey that's like been you know probably by most people's standards harder and different from other people's and so like I feel that you know what I mean like I'm not even trying I'm, I'm being for real like I feel that struggle even though I wasn't an orphan I mean but like a lot of people do go through that program foster care and all of that and then when they turn 18 they're just out on their ass these people don't know nothing most of the time you know like people haven't sat down to teach them life skills or like you know, how to survive out there, you know, besides, like, steel or, you know what I mean? Like, so, you know what I mean? Just, but that's why we come in with this, like, that's why the Yashua states. Um, my bad for drifting, y'all. I do that sometimes. I just, I, um, that's just what I do. Like, I, I hope that y'all don't mind and that you love me still. <laughs> Next on the list here, we got to publish a book and easily sell the copies. Okay, I did write a book. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that to y'all, but I did write a book. I put a lot of my energy myself into that book too. And 
I should probably talk more about it, and I will coming up, you know what I mean, but I did write that book, but um, I'm continuing on for this right now. In our notebook, creativity session. To express myself fully in all channels and all content. Hence the change here. <laughs> uh, get back to at least 175 pounds. I'm about one. I actually don't really know. Bro, last time I checked, I was about 170. I want to get back to 175 or beyond, you know what I mean? But I've been getting it in. I've been working out a lot. You feel me? So, like, I don't know where I'm at. I haven't weighed myself lately. Could be there. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. Again. Uh, one million, get one million subscribers by July 2020. That didn't happen. But <laughs> I think that's also because of the lack of follow through on the previously mentioned ones. Straight up, you know, I wasn't expressing myself fully in all my channels and content like I'm doing now, you know. Um, I mean, you know, I wasn't, you know, trying to, I wasn't actively like working out a whole bunch trying to get back to 175, you know, a good, like active, healthy weight for me. Um, I haven't working on the, been the Oshawa States, you know, but I am now. And like, so that's what I'm saying. Like, these are my goals. I want to know what yours are. And I want to talk about yours. And I want to know your thoughts on mine. No shade. We're all about positive here. <laughs> positive energy. Like, I, I can't stop when people come with negativity. But thank God. <laughs> thank the most high. I don't have that issue, like, in my community. My community is so positive and full of love. Like, look at, look on any of my videos down in the comment section, and it's just all love. Like, the energy is so powerfully positive. Like, I just love it so much. I just love y'all so much. <laughs> I do. I can't help it. We're gonna keep our ideas here in our, in our little notebooks. If you have one, it helps. Even if your notebook's on your phone, it helps to write stuff down and look back at it frequently. That's you know going also gonna help fuel what we got going on here, which is trying to push each other's dreams. That's the whole point of this creativity. All right, so I'm gonna come up with something creative. I'm gonna think creativity right now. I don't feel no pressure. I feel. <laughs> I feel. I don't feel no pressure. So I feel like uh, relaxed and um, you know what? Too. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna think of some creative uh, ideas for videos right here, right now. And then I'm gonna. And then I'm gonna do those videos for y'all so let's think all right let's think hmm. let me get to a page where i can write this stuff down my handwriting if it's not the absolute greatest <laughs> but there we have it there we are all right asmr
So, I think, I think I'm in a vibration of love right now and positive light energy. So, let's, let's think about how I can spread that more. How can I spread that more? Mm, giving love means getting love. I could do like. I could do like a live video. Oh, I was just saying that I could do a live video where I am going to do that. Oh, variation of that idea though. Here it is. <laughs> I could do a video where I get all my biggest supporters' names. Where I can. Oh shit, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up now. It's oh. where I get all of my supporters' names, the big supporters, you know what I mean? The ones that I see commenting. And um, maybe it'll be the ones that I see commenting under this video. Ooh, yeah, so we can tie it directly to this. That's what it is now. My big supporters, I need y'all in the comment section. I need all that love in the comment section. Y'all need, I, I need y'all to let me know y'all in here right now so make some noise and let me know and tell me because what i'm gonna do is i'm going to make a video and say y'all's names over and over right and i'm gonna make them rhyme i'm gonna do a rhyme with everybody's name every oh, that's gonna be so hard hold up i gotta write that down i gotta write, I gotta write that down now i gotta write that down that's gonna be so good oh. I'm excited to get that much love. I would like to hear somebody rhyme with my name. <laughs> okay. Um, So y'all can hear it. It's the thing. But boom, right there. Right up in there. Yes. Oh, that's a great eye. Okay. <laughs> I <laughs> see what y'all done did. See what you did. See what you did. Let me drop my pen. See what you did. It's all good. Listen. I'm so charged by that idea. I'm 
I need to get the pen because I feel creative juices going. Maybe I'm gonna come up with something else. Did y'all see it fall? Where'd it go? I don't see it on there. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I'm gonna look again. Hold up. Oh, come here. <laughs> I got it with my toes. Y'all couldn't even see that. But like, I used to like hang from stuff by my toes, trees and like door <laughs> doors and whatnot. Like. I used to just hang by my, you could ask, really ask my people for real. I used to do that. I, like my feet are coordinated and strong, <laughs> but um, got the pen back. <sighs> okay, so no ideas then. Okay. So now I'm thinking about spreading some love. I'm thinking about a role play. I'm thinking about a role play. Okay. I'm thinking about a role play. Now, what if... I, a lot, one thing I try to... I do in a lot of my role plays, um, basically all of them, is I'm trying to craft for y'all an image of, like, what a man should look like for for a woman. You know what I mean? Or, like, you know, whatever you're into. It's totally cool. <laughs> um... But, like, you know, how your significant other should treat you, yo, straight up like that. That's what I'm, I try to show, my, that's what I try to do with my role plays is exemplify what I think that should look like. Even to the point where, like, we're in arguments. I have role plays where we're doing arguments. And I'm showing how I feel like an argument should be worked out. Even when we genuinely have different perspectives and opinions about whatever it is that it could be polar opposite. Uh, you know what I mean? But it doesn't matter as long as we're coming at each other with respect and love. Like, everything can be worked out. Everything. So I try to exemplify that. I also think, you know what I mean, a, a big portion of relationships is affection because I'm a very affectionate person. You feel me? And, like, I do love the kissing and the touching and the, all of that stuff is, like, really natural for me. <laughs> and so I think... That much is important, and so I exemplify that as well. You know what I mean? You deserve to have affection, and you know what I mean. Get your face, you know, kissed up on, and you know what I mean. And like your back rubbed, your booty rubbed, your, you know what I mean. Legs rubbed, feet rubbed. You deserve, you know what I mean, to like have a king. You know what I mean? Like work out for you, and like look, you know what I mean. So he looks good for you. You know what I mean? And like, psh, I mean, you know. All, all, you know, all that sentimental stuff. <laughs> you know, doors open, feel me, chairs pulled. If that, you know what I mean? Like, whatever. Just, like, wherever you at with it on the scale of uh, charming or um, chivalry uh, is it. As long as you got respect at the root of everything you're doing, you're generally good. You know, like what you're doing is all right. You feel me? So what I'm saying now is that uh, we're going to step our game up, period, wherever we at, whatever level we at, we going to step that game up, 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 up,
what y'all think. Oh, what kind of role plays would y'all like to see? So, I'm thinking it should be very affectionate. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm feeling right now. It should be very, like, affection-driven and, like, comforting and loving and relaxing and docileing and just, like, dopamine <laughs> Euphoria, all of that kind of thing. Just relax, 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 relax. Nice, 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 nice. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. I think I should do a role play where. I'm just gonna say it because it's just in my head. I think I should have a role play where I do a whole bunch of kisses. Like, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Like, I just, all right, so, okay, but like, I, I'm gonna work a story into it because it's gotta be like genderly mutual, kind of, is what I feel. Like, I'm still gonna do, you know what I mean? Like, how, how I do it, you know, whatever. But I just mean to say that, like, if you're just, you know, some dude, you might not want to just watch me kiss, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, over and over. So, but maybe I'll do that too, just because I know some people do would like that. So, yeah, we'll see how I go. Yeah, Alright, it's, it's turn energy either way. Okay, and, um, but, okay, so, role play. How about... What if I did a role play where I'm just meeting you, right? And like, I'm wooing you. And sometimes when you meet somebody, you really feeling them definitely if the energy and atmosphere is festive and you've had a couple of drinks, maybe something like that, you know, things can move a little fast. You feel me? So maybe. I show with the proper, you know, I mean, energy, basically, things can go, you know, kind of quickly, and even then, like, we gonna, we gonna, it sounds, I don't know, whatever, but even then, I gotta, I gotta tell y'all to keep the respect going, you feel me, like, that's, that's just, if you do that with everything in life, your life is gonna become better, y'all, I promise you that. And that's all the way down or up, if you ask me, to the, the way you treat women, the way you treat your significant other, the way you treat even just someone you're dating, like an interest. Because just like with an investment in money, the interest builds or it doesn't. And I think that is like hugely dependent on the amount of energy you're putting into something or and the kind of energy you're putting into something. Feel me? So I'll do a, I'll do a role play something like that. Or do y'all have some kind of cool variation of that idea? What's something that could be like unique attached to that? Uh, y'all have brilliant minds, so I want to hear all of the ideas. <laughs> Thank y'all so much, yo, for just creating with me. I gotta write down the role play idea, but thank you so much just for creating with me and for like just being in my corner and loving on me and like letting me love on you. And I thank you so much for like everything that you do for me. And I wanna let you know that the energy is universal and mutual and is unfucking dying is unceasing. It's not ever going anywhere. That these are these are landmarks. These videos are landmarks. There are landmarks. And however wide they go, however vast they get, a it's meant to be. 